How's it going everybody? Justin here with the Pit Lane. Got an exciting video for you today for Project 325, my 1994 BMW 325 IS. Had the maiden voyage for the car after getting all the uh, suspension and wheels and tires installed. Uh, did an autocross event with the BMW Car Club down here at uh, Pikes Peak International Raceway. We got in uh, eight runs for the autocross events, which was quite a lot. Uh, Pretty good day overall, uh, no problems with the car, and it was a pretty competitive day too. So we'll get into that here in just a minute. Got a, a number of videos with different points of view from both inside and outside the car. So check out the rest of the video and see how things went. And here we go, rolling to the line for uh, the first run of the morning session. Uh, BMW Club, we had two sessions, a four run session in the morning which are practice runs and a four run session in the afternoon which is actually where your competition timed runs uh, are taken, the ones that actually count uh, for points and things. Uh, talk about car setup real quick, um, as some of you might know I just got my uh, TC Klein double adjustable suspension installed uh, with the camber plates in the front, uh, I got the Eibach 28mm front bar and my Apex Arcate wheels in the 17 by 9 size and the uh, Hankook RS3 V2 tires on there. So got those parts on and installed. Everything else is bone stock. Uh, got the car in for an alignment recently. Got about three and a half degrees of camber in the front, two degrees in the rear, and just a little bit of toe in in the rear of the car as well. Uh, the front is neutral, no toe in or toe out. So that's how the car is set up currently. Uh, as you can see, we're on course. Uh, this was actually my first run. Uh, think ever with the car uh, actually no this was my third run in the morning I already put in a couple runs quite a long course uh, for Pikes Peak lots of turns lots of turnarounds coming into a turnaround there to the right and looking across to find the finish the cones uh, another quick left turnaround into a short slalom before the uh, for the finish here but uh, car was working good uh, really good actually I haven't uh, driven a car of this prep level uh, most of my cars are stock class cars, you know, consisting of basically tires, alignment, and upgraded shocks, maybe a front sway bar. So uh, this car with the, the giant tires, the tires are 255s wide um, uh, on the 17 by 9 wheels. And with the suspension and the camera that I got, had a lot of grip, a whole lot of grip. So it was easy to drive, fun to drive, and uh, it turned out to be really competitive for the BMW Club D Street class that I was running it in. Um, that was not really intentional. I just kind of went out there and classed it uh, based on the mods that I had. As you might know, this car will eventually be an STX prepped car. But uh, a little bit about the driving uh, going in here. Uh, kind of an awkward left-handed turn. Got to go deep and then come back around to straighten the car out for uh, that cone there. Uh, I had a little bit of issues during the day. Uh, this car had more turn-in than I'm used to. Uh, I was clipping a lot of cones on the front tires um, throughout the day. I had, I don't know, maybe four or five of my runs were dirty runs just from hitting cones in the front of the car or running over them with the front tire. But uh car did well. Uh, again, coming through that last section here, looking across to find the cone that I got to hit when entering the slalom. You can kind of see when I get into those tight turns, you can see the wheel actually sticking out in the front there it's like the more wheel I gave the car the more it would turn it uh, it wanted to push very very late I guess I could get a lot of steering out of it uh, a lot of turning and it was uh, very solid all around so uh, coming into my last run of the day here this was my best time overall of the day I think my first run of the day was a 70.945 I bettered that in the morning session with a 69.383 this last run here was a 68.605 and uh, we actually had 17 cars in the BMW D Street class uh, with that time I ended up taking first place out of the entire class which was awesome I went into the day not really worrying about being competitive just wanted to make sure the car was solid and ran well throughout the day which it did uh, ran a lot better than expected uh, couldn't have been happier um, no engine problems no overheating no leaks uh, transmission was fine. I didn't launch the car too terribly hard, but uh, I did give it a little bit of a workout on the line. Uh, get into it a little bit harder at the next event, but uh, 
Getting ready to come up towards the finish line here once again. Um, as far as the results, again, I placed first out of the 17 drivers in the D Street class. And that was actually good enough for fifth place overall in packs for the entire field. So it was an awesome day. Uh, again, unexpected and surprised, but definitely happy. So <laughs> car's working good. Uh, had a ton of fun with it. Um, I'm going to work on a few things here for the next event. i got to flush the brakes. Uh get a little bit cleaned up cleaned up and I hopefully get the brakes working a little bit better but uh stay tuned for the next videos got another event in a couple weeks here hope you enjoyed and uh, again please like subscribe and share the video I would appreciate it